Well, geothermal power could play a major role in Utah's clean energy future. And right now, the U.S. Department of Energy is conducting a multi-year experiment just outside of Milford that could help make sure that more viable and affordable energy is available. Yeah, new specialist Mike Anderson has a look at what they're doing down there. Mike? That release of steam could become a more common sight in Utah if state leaders make the push for more geothermal power. Technology used at this site could help make it more affordable and widely available. It represents a tremendous resource that, that we need to take advantage of. Dr. Joseph Moore is the principal investigator at the Utah Frontier Observatory for Research in Geothermal Energy, otherwise known as FORGE. Out here, an injection well is drilled down about 8,500 feet, sending water into the hot rocks, creating fractures that serve as reservoirs, and the water is sent up another well. Then, in the most recent experiment you see here, the water is sent back down through those reservoirs, heating up to around 370 degrees up a production well where the hot water could be used to produce power before being cycled back down again. They ran this cycle in a 30-day test. If we can do that and we can calculate fairly simply what the temperature will be at any depth, we can go anywhere in the world to build a system like this. You could eventually see geothermal wells like this powering communities and providing radiant heating, similar to this one right in the middle of Reykjavik, Iceland, that delegates from Utah had a look at this past June. The resource is enormous. It can't be used up. There's always heat coming up from the center of the earth. Another advantage, the footprint of geothermal is small, at least from the above ground view. In fact, Moore says a five acre geothermal plant can provide about as much power as this wind farm that spans seven miles. And geothermal doesn't need wind or sun to keep going. That's what Moore believes makes it a viable baseload power source, one that you can depend on consistently in all conditions. And in this most recent 30 day circulation test, 420 gallons of water per minute is being injected and recycled. We estimate right here that we're recovering about 95% of the water that we inject. And that's crucial for producing geothermal power in Utah, where water can be a scarce resource. We want to make the best use of water as possible. And we can do that by keeping a closed loop. Meaning more than 90% of that water is used over and over again. Forge sits in the middle of Utah's renewable energy corridor, which includes wind and solar farms, along with a couple of private geothermal plants that send energy to California and other neighboring states. But not Utah, at least not yet. What researchers find here could help change that. I've been involved in geothermal energy since the mid 70s and you know we've never seen a boom and technology advancements like we're seeing in the last three four years. Near Milford, Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News. Oh.